Welcome to the FBLA National Leadership Experience. I hope you are all as excited as I am to spend the next few weeks creating a world of opportunity. The Southern Region Meeting and Recognition Session is now called to order. Members, your actions across this year have inspired the FBLA National Officer Team. We cannot wait to recognize your work for this great organization. Over the next few weeks, I encourage you to push, to challenge, and to empower yourself. The entire world is in front of you. What will you do to share this role of opportunity with others? This evening, members of our board of directors, national staff, and national officer team joined us to help celebrate the Southern region and share a few words. Give an online welcome to FBLA PBL President and CEO, Mr. Alex Graham. It's an honor to bring greetings to the regional meetings hosted by our talent at National Officer Team. The last few months have radically altered all our lives. Just as we've begun to accept the effects of the global pandemic and the new normal of social distancing, we have been deeply impacted by the senseless death of George Floyd. We are all grappling with these momentous events, and they are sure to cause feelings of anxiety, uncertainty, isolation, economic concerns, and health worries. But as President Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. And that's exactly what you're doing. By coming together for regional meetings, you're ensuring that FBLE continues to meet our mission. On behalf of all of us at the National Center, I would like to express our appreciation to you, our members, who have worked hard all year long to develop your leadership and business skills. I would also like to take a moment to recognize the tireless support of our chapter advisors. Their commitment is the engine that drives the entire organization. For those of you that are competing in this year's National Leadership Experience, I wish you the best of luck. For those who are attending but not competing, congratulations to you for your commitment to continuous learning. As we look forward to a new program year, I hope to meet many of you in person during one of the National Leadership Conferences this fall. Meanwhile, have a wonderful summer filled with family, friends, and new adventures. Next, we will hear from FBLA National President, Travis Johnson. Hello, Southern Region FBLA. My name is Travis Johnson, and it has been my honor to serve as your 2019-20 FBLA National President. Allow me to begin by saying thank you so much for everything you've done over the past year. Because of your passion and dedication for FBLA, we soared to unprecedented levels this year. In the face of difficulties, we rallied together, supported each other, and proved that we are capable of creating innovative solutions. This year, we increased our annual donations to the March of Dimes, participated in groundbreaking community service projects, and exemplified community-minded leadership. None of this would have been possible without your help and your support. So please give yourself a huge pat on the back and a giant round of applause. I also would like to give a huge shout out to your amazing Southern Region Vice President, Ethan Gozali. This year, Ethan has worked tirelessly to ensure that your voices were heard. He prioritized listening to your ideas for the organization, and as a result, he's worked to build an FBLA that places an emphasis on the experience of its members. Thank you, Ethan, for everything you've done for this terrific region. Southern Region members, I encourage you to take advantage of everything that the National Leadership Experience has to offer. As leaders, we are always looking for new ways to learn and grow. As such, I encourage you to use the NLE as an opportunity for you to learn how to navigate our new normal while still displaying the characteristics of FBLA members. While we may not be able to gather in person, there are numerous opportunities for us to stay connected and engaged. Remember, the purpose of this meeting is to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. And I have to be honest, you all have so much to be proud of. 
Thank you again for your time. And I cannot wait to continue to watch you change the world. We'd like to take a moment to recognize three individuals from the Southern region who currently serve on the National Board of Directors. Over the last year, these board members have steered the course of our organization. Their leadership has been invaluable in advancing FBLA. Let's all share our appreciation for the following individuals. Mrs. Jody Jones, State Advisor, Florida FBLA PBL. Mr. Dan Hazlitt, PBL Advisor, Stanley Community College, North Carolina. Mr. Ron Pierce, Chairman of the Board and Business Industry Representative from RSA Consulting Group, LLC in Florida. On behalf of the Southern Region and all members of FBLA PBL, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you to our special guests for their continued support of the Southern Region. It has been another successful year for the Southern Region. We are proud to announce that our region membership for the 2019-2020 FBLA season was an astounding 73,008 members. The Southern Region continues to be the largest region in FBLA. Thank you so much for your continued support. Beginning the awards portion of our program, we would like to congratulate the states and local chapters earning membership related honors. First, we recognize those chapters earning a spot on the National Big Ten Chapters scoreboard. Seven Southern Region chapters earned a spot in the National Top 10. Earning 10th place in the National Big Ten standings with 271 members, congratulations to Midlonian High School in Virginia. In seventh place with 353 members, Congratulations to Alpharetta High School in Georgia. In sixth place with 365 members, congratulations to Denmark High School in Georgia. In fifth place with 417 members, congratulations to South Forest High School in Georgia. In third place with 448 members, congratulations to Lampert High School in Georgia. In second place, with 472 members, congratulations to Palm Beach Gardens Community High School in Florida. And in first place, with 601 members, congratulations to Coral Reef Senior High School in Florida. We now recognize the winners of the National Local Chapter Membership Awards from our region. Membership results are based on the number of paid members as of April 30th. Our first award is the largest local chapter membership. The winners are in second place with 472 members. Congratulations to, ba to Palm Beach Gardens Community High School in Florida. In first place, also from Florida, with 601 members, give a virtual shout out to Coral Reef Senior High School. Congratulations. Our next award is for the largest local chapter membership professional division. These awards are based on the April 30th professional division membership award deadline. In second place, with 13 professional division members from Georgia, we congratulate Bleckley County High School. In first place, with 18 professional division members from Kentucky, Ballard Memorial High School. Congratulations, chapter award recipients. The market share award is next. In second place, with 39.36% of their school in FBLA, congratulations to Overhills High School in North Carolina. Winning the market share award with 46.3% of the school participating in FBLA, we congratulate. Castor High School in Louisiana. Congratulations. We continue with the largest state chapter membership professional division. In second place, with 222 professional members, we congratulate Alabama. 
and in first place with 314 professional members, congratulations to Georgia. Our next award is largest state chapter membership. The winners are in second place with 9,739 members. We congratulate Florida. Your first place winner with 17,395 members is Georgia. Congratulations to the largest state chapters in the Southern region. State recruitment of chapters is next. In second place, recruiting 21 new or reactivated chapters, we congratulate North Carolina. And in first place, recruiting 25 new or reactivated chapters. Congratulations to Florida. Congratulations once again to all of our membership award recipients. And thank you to everyone who helped create a world of opportunity for our organization. Due to the COVID-19 panic, Many states throughout our region have their state leadership conferences canceled or postponed. We would like to give proper recognition to the state officer teams in the region that worked extremely hard throughout last year to advance our organization. Please give a virtual shout out to the 2019-2020 state officer teams throughout the region, beginning with Alabama, Next, we recognize Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky. Please give a virtual shout out to Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina. We recognize Tennessee, Virginia. Lastly, we recognize West Virginia. Thank you to all of these great state officer teams for their hard work. Although the year is not ending the way we wanted it to, you all powered through to help our members in a time of need. And when this is all over, our region will be stronger than ever. Over the last year, your national officer team worked diligently on our national program of work. To help us accomplish our national goals, we appoint members throughout the nation to serve as national council members. We would like to now recognize those members that went above and beyond with their selfless service to our national team. First, we recognize council members from our region that served on councils other than the ones specifically for our region. Serving on the National President's Executive Council, we recognize Andrea Clark from South Carolina, Alex Cook from North Carolina, Matthew Wernikin from Florida, Destiny Osborne from Mississippi, and Maria Mandeboff from Georgia. Serving on the National Secretary's Council, from South Carolina, we recognize Rita Allen. Serving on the National Treasurer's Council, Alex Kokon from Georgia. From the National Parliamentarian's Council, give a virtual shout out to Rachel Warren from Florida. We would also like to recognize the 2019-2020 FBLA Social Media Ambassadors from the Southern Region. Serving as writers, we recognize Megan Eng from Georgia and Maya Srinivasan from Florida. Serving as videographer, we recognize David Liu from Georgia. Serving as graphic designers, we recognize Varu Ramanathan from Florida, Claire Ponciano from Georgia, and Ayush Pai from Florida. Serving as webmaster, we recognize Ayushi Rajput from Georgia. Finally, serving as scheduler, we recognize Jackson Olmsted from Alabama. Thank you to all of these members for their hard work. Lastly, 
we recognize the members that served on the Southern Region Council. Serving as your middle-level ambassador, we recognize Sean Smith from Alabama. Serving as your legislative directors, we recognize Hayden Wood from Arkansas and Sancha Kansal from Virginia. Serving as your communications directors, give a virtual shout out to Swathi Shavaram from Georgia and Austin Huang from Georgia. Next, we recognize your program's directors, Sid Gupta from Georgia and Taylor McCarthy from North Carolina. Lastly, we recognize your executive assistant, Nicholas Maggard from Virginia. Our council has accomplished so much this year, from working to promote the FBLA Innovation Center to reworking a chapter care package and governmental affairs packet. Thank you so much for your service to our region throughout this year. Working side by side with all of you has been an honor. And the Southern region could not have been successful without you. Please give a virtual shout out to your 2019 2020 FBLA Southern Region National Council team. Let's help raise each other up by hearing about the accomplishments of the Southern Region State Chapters. As each state president or representative is introduced, we will present you with a 45 second to one minute video describing the accomplishments of their state throughout this year. The success stories shared today were made possible thanks to the hard work, leadership, commitment, and de dedication of our state leadership teams. We began our state reports with the Alabama FBLA State President, Jakia Carpenter. Hello, my name is Jakia Carpenter and I'm your state president reporting from the great state of Alabama. I'm just going to discuss a few things my state chapter has accomplished this past year, starting with our district workshops. Each year, Alabama hosts six district workshops, which are held and led by our vice presidents. Secondly, we had the opportunity to host the NFLC in our very own Birmingham, Alabama, which was amazing and I really enjoyed working with our national office. And last but not least, we raised over $90,000 for March of Dimes. You guys, $90,000, that is a huge accomplishment. None of this could have been done without help, love, and support from our national office and the members of Alabama FBLA. I really am looking forward to serving you all this year. Thank you. Next is Arkansas, Mason Carr. Hello, my name is Mason Carr and I'm the state president from Arkansas. Even though this year was unusual, Arkansas FBLA embraced the challenge of completing its first virtual state leadership conference. To prepare for the conference, our state officers joined Zoom meetings with Arkansas State Advisor and the production company. Competitors' presentations were conducted through Zoom, allowing judges to witness the competitions and allow for questioning at the end. For the campaign rally, candidates pre-recorded their speeches and created a flyer to promote themselves to all voting delegates. Even though we couldn't be together in person, it was still exciting to see all the different schools being represented across our state. The 2020-21 Arkansas State Officer Team looks forward to the upcoming year and Arkansas looks forward to the national leadership experience. From Florida, Ryland Gonzalez. Hello, my name is Ryland Gonzalez, the Florida State President. This past year, Florida reinstated the statewide activity as a statewide cleanup by partnering with Keep Florida Beautiful so our members statewide could create a seeable physical difference in their communities. We also worked to create a more steady line of communication between our chapters and the state officer team through monthly webinars, social media, and good old fashioned chapter visits. We also worked to improve our chapters and our community through creating new opportunities and care packages for our chapters and by partnering with Take Stock and Children to provide college scholarships to low-income students in Florida. I'm looking forward to another successful and unique year working side-by-side -side with my other state officers to ensure that we are adequately preparing our over 15,000 members to become community-minded business leaders. From Georgia, 2019-2020 State President Henry Hahn. Hi, my name is Henry Schwann and I served as the 2019-2020 Georgia FBLA State President. This past year has been unbelievable for Georgia FBLA. At the 2019 National Leadership Conference in San Antonio, 
150 Georgia FBLA members were able to walk across the stage, taking home 104 national awards and 17 first place finishes. This was an unprecedented success for Georgia FBLA, and I could not have been more proud of our members. Furthermore, our state officer team has also overseen multiple initiatives to enhance our members' experience. For example, our state officers restarted the Chapter Takeover Program, which was an opportunity for local chapters to highlight their chapter projects in the areas of community service, fundraiser, and other chapter activities. Thank you for listening. From Kentucky, Peyton Hall. Greetings on behalf of the great state of Kentucky. My name is Peyton Hall, and I'm the 2019-20 KY FBLA president. This past year, Kentucky members found their world of opportunity by attending leadership development camps, region fall and spring conferences, and the National Fall Leadership Conference. All six regions hosted their own fall leadership conference where members interacted and learned about their officers' positions. Each region also successfully hosted a spring conference where members networked, toured, and most importantly, competed. Overcoming COVID-19, members took control of the State Leadership Conference. Kentucky FBLA has truly established their world of opportunity this past year. Next is Louisiana, Hannah Lee. Hi Southern Region, my name is Hannah Lee and I'm the 2020 to 2021 Louisiana FBLA State President. Like many states, Louisiana FBLA was a bit shaken by the abrupt end of last year's term. However, we were still able to accomplish some amazing things during the 2019 to 2020 leadership year including hosting a record number of members at our Fall State Leadership Conference, raising upwards $9,000 for student scholarships, and enhancing our social media presence. We were also able to end the year with a highly successful virtual State Leadership Conference. Louisiana FBLA hopes that everyone is staying safe, and we're looking forward to a wonderful NLE. From Mississippi, State President Rohan Fiesel. Hey everybody, my name is Rowan Fiesel and I'm the newly elected Mississippi FBLA State President and I am so excited for this opportunity. But right now I want to talk about how even though the COVID-19 pandemic has drastically changed the way we're doing things in FBLA, we can still look back and see how our state's accomplished so much from 2019 and 2020. And under the leadership of Destiny Osborne, my predecessor, who is an excellent state officer, we were able to host our very first officer and advisor training session this year, and that was a major success. And we were also able to have continued success in our third year of our state program, Lead the Way, and chapter officers were also encouraged to build the 2019-2020 program of work. Thank you. From North Carolina, Taylor McCarthy. Hello everyone, my name is Taylor McCarthy and I'm currently serving my second term as NCFBLA State President. Last year, my team brought so many things to NCFBLA. One of these things was a middle-level shadow program that was formed by one of my fellow state officers and allowed a middle-level member to shadow an officer at regionals to understand the role of a state officer in high school. Our officer team also focused largely on community service as we participated in a statewide sock drive during regionals to end up collecting over 2,000 pairs of socks for those that need them during the cold winter. Overall, our officer team put in so much hard work over the past year, especially in gaining middle-level chapters across the state, and was so saddened that we couldn't meet for one last time due to a canceled state conference that would have had a record high number of attendees. NCFBLA wishes that everyone is still remaining healthy and safe. Thank you. From South Carolina, State President Chloe Carter. Hello, Southern Region. I am Chloe Carter, South Carolina FBLA State President. Our theme, SCFBLA Fueling Futures, was selected to emphasize how FBLA fuels our futures and prepares us to serve as leaders. We held our first state fall leadership rally in three years as previous years rallies were canceled due to hurricanes and floods. During the year, members promoted the March of Dimes and our Shriners Hospital Build a Bear project. We were honored to have Mr. Alex Graham, President and CEO of FBLA PBL, join us at our state leadership conference. Travis Johnson, we are so proud of you and what you have accomplished for South Carolina FBLA and around the globe. Thank you. Next is Tennessee. Chance Hall. Good afternoon, FBLA Southern Region. I am Chance Hall, the Tennessee FBLA State President. This past year, outgoing State President Raiden Martin and his fantastic team has pushed our state chapter to thrive. 
Despite the uncertainty at the end of this term, this team held multiple camps for FBLA members and attended several more. The March of Dimes Miracle Minute was continued at every conference that occurred prior to the unfortunate outbreak of COVID-19. Although we were not able to meet in person for this national leadership experience, know that Tennessee and its members were and prepared to fully participate. Let's make this next year a success for the Southern Region and FBLA. From Virginia, State President Sarah Nugent. Hi, I'm Sarah Nugent, part of the Virginia FBLA State Officer Team. A few weeks ago, we had the honor of listening to Mr. Dante Plush's speech about Giving Tuesday. The entire state of Virginia has embraced this year's Giving Tuesday. Members across the state are participating in any way that they choose. As for me, I will be helping clean up a community garden. Don't forget to take part in Giving Tuesday tomorrow. And lastly, from West Virginia, welcome Sandy Dennison. Hello, FBLA. If you do not know who I am, my name is Sandy Dennison. I am the 2020 through 2021 West Virginia State President. I have been a member of FBLA for three years now, and through all three years, I have committed myself in helping my chapter in any way I can. Throughout my presidency, I will continue to do this, and I will also continue to better my organization in any way that I can. My officer team and I will accomplish all that we can in this amazing year. Stay safe. Montani, Semper, Liberi. Thank you to our state presidents and representatives for your leadership. On June 28th, we will hear from the candidates running for the Office of Southern Region Vice President. Based on pre-registration figures, the approximate number of voting delegates for this region is 1,018. For this year only, a plurality of the votes cast at regional voting will be required for election. The candidates will be approved through application and material screening by national staff members. And an interview with the officer screening committee consisting of national board members and current national officers. Therefore, as stated in the national bylaws, no nominations will be accepted at this meeting. The candidates for Southern Region Vice President will be announced during the rest of the national leadership experience. At 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time on June 28th, a broadcast will be posted of the Southern Region Vice President's speeches and candidate Q&A sessions. The duties of the Southern Region Vice President are as follows. Assist the President in the promotion and development of FBLA in the Southern Region. Assist in the National Fall Leadership Conferences and preside at the regional meetings at the 2020 National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, California. The candidates will have two minutes for their campaign speeches. For this year only, the candidate Q&A session will include questions pre-selected ahead of the time developed by the FBLA PBL National Center. These questions will be asked to the candidates in rolling order during a live video call, so they will have to answer on the spot similar to a normal NLC region session. Only questions pertaining to the duties of the office and the candidate's qualifications will be asked. At 2 p.m. Eastern Time, a national officer candidate portion of the national leadership experience will go live, including candidate speeches, all campaign flyers, a link to the candidate's respective Q&As, as well as a link to the candidate's campaign website. From 2 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, social media campaigning will be permitted. After this time period passes, social media campaigning must be suspended. The campaign portion of the NLE website will be still live for reference until voting is completed the following day. On June 29th, the local chapter delegates may vote for the Office of Southern Region Vice President for the 2020-2021 FBLA season from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Voting will not be permitted outside these times. If you do not receive online voting credentials when voting begins, please contact your local chapter advisor. We wish the best of luck to our national officer candidates for this year. Several outstanding FBLA members are recognized for their service to their state in FBLA. Each state chapter has selected their who's who recipient and an outstanding local chapter advisor recipient. 
Today, we are pleased to recognize our Southern Region who's who and outstanding advisor recipients by presenting them on your screen. From Alabama, who's who recipient, Sierra Robertson and outstanding advisor, Latrenda Torren Salter. From Arkansas, who's who recipient, Miles Epperson. From Florida, who's who recipient, Gabriela Melo and outstanding advisor, Richard Denell. From Georgia, Who's Who recipient, Krishi Patel, and outstanding advisor, Sherry Hooks. From Kentucky, Who's Who recipient, Katie Bunch, and outstanding advisor, Corey Purcell. From Louisiana, Who's Who recipient, Samuel Gill, and outstanding advisor, Rosetta Bynum. From Mississippi, Who's Who recipient, Destiny Osborne, and outstanding advisor, Christopher Tisdale. From North Carolina, Who's Who recipient, Keaton York, and outstanding advisor, Julie West. From South Carolina, Who's Who recipient, Travis Johnson, and outstanding advisor, Jamie Connor. From Tennessee, Who's Who recipient, Raiden Martin, and outstanding advisor, Shander Miselek. From Virginia, Who's Who recipient, Natalie Youngblood, and outstanding advisor, Carrie Boswell. And from West Virginia, Who's Who recipient, Gabrielle Adams. Congratulations to our Southern Region Who's Who and Local Chapter Outstanding Advisor recipients. The FBLA PBL Advisor Wall of Fame recognizes advisors and state chairs with 20 or more years of service to the association. This year, we are pleased to add two advisors from the Southern Region to the Wall of Fame. From Alabama, Brenda Barr, and from Florida, Colleen Clark. Congratulations. Next is the Hollis and Kitty Guy Gold Seal Chapter Award of Merit. Chapters earning this award will receive their certification in their mail. Please direct your attention to the screen as we recognize our Gold Seal Chapters. Congratulations to our Gold Seal Chapters. Next, we recognize a middle-level member who has demonstrated extraordinary commitment to leadership and community service. The recipient of the Young Leader Award from Florence Middle School in Alabama, Ellen Trimble. We continue with our Community Service Awards. This program recognizes members with extraordinary commitment to community service at three levels. The community level with 50 hours, the service level with 200 hours, and the achievement level with 500 hours of service. Hours for the CSA are cumulative and built throughout a member of FVLA's career. Tonight, we recognize those who reach the CSA achievement level. Please direct your attention to your screens as we honor these award recipients by state.
Congratulations, and thank you for elevating our communities with your service. We continue to increase the opportunities offered by our organization through recruitment and retention of members. Several chapters answered our challenge of growing our membership by completing a chapter challenge. We would like to recognize those members that completed Super Sweeps, Nonstop November, and Action Awareness. Please direct your attention to the chapters on the screen that completed Super Sweeps. We now recognize the chapters that completed nonstop November. Please give a virtual shout out to the chapters that completed Action Awareness. Lastly, we honor those chapters that rose to the challenge by completing all three FBLA chapter challenges. Next, we would like to recognize the middle level members who obtained the highest level of the lead awards. There are three levels of the FBLA middle level lead program, bronze, silver, and gold. The following lead gold recipients will now be recognized on your screen. We continue our recognition with the Business Achievement Awards. There are four levels of awards you can achieve in our comprehensive BAA program. The Future Award, the Business Award, the Leader Award, and the highest being America Award. The following BAA America recipients will now be recognized on your screen. This year, America level pins will be mailed to your local chapter advisor. Congratulations, and thank you to everyone who participated in the Business Achievement Awards. Next, we honor our chapters that earned the Outstanding Chapter Award. Please direct your attention to your screen to view the chapters that completed the Outstanding Chapter Award. Congratulations to our outstanding chapters. Next, we recognize our local and state chapters that went above and beyond in the Business Achievement Awards. Our first award is for the BAA Fight to the Finish. We are pleased to announce that one state from the Southern region ranked in the top 10. In ninth place, we congratulate Georgia. 
Next, we recognize the local chapter with the most BAA awards. Congratulations to Denmark High School in Georgia and earning the award for the state chapter with the most BAA awards. With 1,300, give a virtual shout out to Georgia. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. Our final recognition for today goes to the FBLA class of 2020 seniors. With the sudden and extreme changes in our society over the past few months, we hope you're all doing well. Although FBLA may not be a priority for you right now due to the changes in educational environments and events for the rest of the year, we greatly appreciate your hard work and dedication to FBLA. Thank you so much for your outstanding service to our organization. Voting delegates, we remind you to consider attending the voting delegate and state president's question and answer session on June 28th at 1 p.m. Southern time on the FBLA NLE website. Campaign speeches for the offices of treasurer, secretary, and president we broadcasted live during the FBLA National Leadership Experience opening session. Candidate information will also be posted on the National Officer Candidate portion of the FBLA NLE website, beginning on June 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We encourage all of you to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Remember to tag your photos and posts with hashtag NLE online and hashtag we are FBLA PBL. We want to see how you are participating in your national leadership experience during these unique times. Together, we will overcome this pandemic and make FBLA proud. Voting will occur on June 29th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for all national office positions. All state voting delegates will vote for the offices of national president, secretary, and treasurer. Please remember that it is required to use a data-enabled device, such as a smartphone, tablet, or computer to vote. Login information will be distributed to local chapter advisors for the Office of Southern Region Vice President, and login credentials for voting for the offices of Treasurer, Secretary, and President will be sent to state advisors. If you do not receive or lose your local chapter delegate voting credentials, please contact your local chapter advisor. For all delegates, please make it your priority to view candidate information and vote during the allotted time period. Our candidates have all worked hard this year and they're looking forward to their opportunity to serve you. Thank you so much to those that helped make this broadcast happen, including the other regional vice presidents, Travis Johnson, our FBLA national president and our national staff. Your help was invaluable. Your National Officer Team looks forward to congratulating many of you for the honors received during our FBLA National Leadership Experience opening session. Award winners for competitive events will be announced around July 12th. Good luck in your competitive events and best of luck to those campaigning for office. Our FBLA Southern Region Meeting and Recognition Session is now adjourned.